Hi everybody, um, speaking from a very cloudy and miserable um, Queensland afternoon, hoping and hoping for rain but it's just cloudy at the moment. Now I'm just going with a load of these colours that I'd mixed up for a, another project that um, I'm going to use some of them, not all of them. They're all... Uh, Montmartre paints. Some of them are the uh, Montmartre dimensions and some are the studio acrylics. I have mixed all of my um, paints with my homemade pouring medium using the Montmartre clear PVA craft glue at 70% glue and 30% water and I just put one I have only put in these ones because they're smaller cups one drop of the Helmar silicone. I have a drop down box where the links are to the Australian um, supplier Capriol Shabby Chic and online or in the US there's a link to the US and a link to Canada. So get started. I was going to go all, I've got all this set in my mind to do a different diagonal swipes which I still may do but I'm kind of thinking that I would like to um, tell you what we'll just go with it I'm just going to go with where my head takes me at the moment I'm just going to cover this particular canvas in white and I'm just going to go with it I'll leave that little bit and I'm just going to use my fingers so don't be scared to use your fingers. Oh, obviously got some blue there somewhere, don't care. Don't care, it's all part of the process. It'll mix in when I've got all the other paints on it, so it doesn't really matter. So remember my rules when you're in my art room. The rules are, there's no rules. <laughs> so um, yeah, just, just wanna make it easy, relaxing for you guys to watch and then feel the same way when you're doing your own art remembering what I say no rules it's it's just your your art your art room um, or wherever you may be working from and it's your rules there's no rules I've got some gubbers in there but I'm not really worried I'm not gonna go plonking them out or anything it's, it's now mixed media, isn't it? Because they're all in there, so it won't make any difference to anyone. So. Get going. I'm thinking I'm going to do diagonally um, some colours. I'm going to go with the Dull and Boring first which is a chocolate brown that I made up out of the burnt umber and I added some black. So I like to add the black to burnt umber to uh, basically to darken it up to make it really rich chocolate. This was a flesh color that I made. I just put white in and I added a little bit of orange and a little bit of the brown and it comes, so you can sort of play with that, custom colour. It's always interesting. Okay, where is she going now? I might add a bit of the um, orange. This is this particular one is the Montmartre Studio acrylic. So it's kind of autumn colour so far, but I'm sure I'm going to change that. I'm going to throw all sorts in here. I'm going to go, I love the orange and turquoise together. So I'm going to throw that in too. Go, what else should I throw in there? I will throw in some gold. So here's the gold. Bit dulled down actually. I'm not sure if I added white to that to dull it down a bit, but okay. 
should I or shouldn't I really throw in the mix? This is some purple that I had made up out of the dimensions. Maybe if I run that down the center, well not the center, the dot, a bit further out where I'm gonna swipe. Do that, do that, do that. Um, add a bit of the brilliant red. A bit crazy today, a bit crazy colors today. Always fun to just keep changing it up or down or whatever you want to do. And I haven't really used much paint on that little lot. What I was thinking of is, is, is swiping. I made up this little pot and this is phalo blue. And I just made this up with um, Floetrol, just this little one, to see what the Floetrol stripe, uh, swipe over this will Create. So I'm going to just pour my little flow troll. It's my flow troll swipey thing. So I'm going to just test with different um, swipe tools. Oh, these are the paint scrapers, and the other ones are just um, just pieces of cardboard. So we'll just see how we go. See how we go. So, 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 might just start with this paint scraper. Okay. I need to get a little bit of, um, a little bit of kitchen roll. I wasn't prepared. Oh my goodness, turn my back and look what happens. Wow. So, so, so. I'll try with the paint scraper over here. I think I need to actually put a little bit more pressure on it so it goes all the way down. So I might go back over this bit again with a little bit more pressure. Not too much because you're going to end up scraping your paint off. Look at this straight away. Wowzers, wowzers. Let's just have a go. This is just a piece of card. It's not I'm not feeling that it's going to work too good because it's not very um, heavy but it might do for these little corner areas which looks as though it's doing quite well. Wowzers, look at this. So this is just the, just doing a flow troll swipe. Is there any difference? Just nice and easy, nice and relaxed. Might go my smaller scraper and get some of that blue in. So there's not much paint on there at all, and yet look at the effect. So you don't have to cover your whole canvas in paint. So these little scrapers are quite good, just a different little tool to swipe with. It's nice having a um, try with all sorts, to give everything a go. It's kind of looking like a reptile skin, but obviously not the colour of a reptile skin. I'll go with my little piece of card, I better swap it over. So obviously the card doesn't, this is a bit thin and it's going a bit. Oh, that banging is the wind on my, um, I've got a, a plastic fly curtain on the, on the door to the studio. It's trying to keep all those bugs out, but then whenever it's windy, whole thing's just, flapping around the whole time. That's a bit crazy, that one. Um, and that's without, that's without even touching the heat tool with it. 
don't like that big area that's probably because I didn't stir my I probably put my drop of silicone in and didn't I normally stir it in really well maybe I didn't stir it in because that is definitely a silicon blob but anyway anyhow so here we go with the other side just put a little bit of pressure but not enough pressure that it wipes your paint off the canvas and it I know people say I still cannot get this swipe it, it looks so easy it, it is sometimes people can just do it a certain style and get it straight away and then and some people have to you know just keep practicing so it's just one of those things but this is you beaut super duper really liking it it's vibrant i actually like a thicker i'm not one for liking thick lines down there but i could have embellished it and i maybe still embellish it because i've got a new baby balloon filled with water and ready to ready for action my other baby balloon give up the ghost yesterday had it for quite a number of weeks so it's done a really good job just try my little spatula over here for having such a small amount of paint on my canvas that is like boomed that has gone crazy no heat torch no nothing so I'm not going to add a heat, to heat torch to it really I'm not because that is just sublime is that the word sublime when it uh, crazy I, I don't know or I'm not sure if that's the right word but I'm sure somebody will correct me okay well 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 that is like Obviously, the uh, flow troll in just that was just the phalo blue. Doing flow troll swipe gives you a completely different kind of cell than if I was swiping with the glue. The glue, the glue and water mixture, obviously gives you defined cells and cells in cells. The flow troll, as you see, gives you lacing. Lacey Lou. Okay, what I might do, at the moment that paint is really too thick and I should wait, but I'll give it a try first and see how we go. Um, just move this slightly back towards you guys. This was my new balloon. I just put a bit of water in it. It just, ha having that little bit of weight really helps when you're dipping it in the doing your balloon kiss now remembering that I had a lot of white under there so um, that's just showing the uh, white but I will be able to fix that and what I'm thinking I should do uh, is I am only going to balloon over these lump uh, sort of bits that are gone into um, it is a silicone blob I believe that hasn't got much paint on it there, so I can pick up paint from somewhere else. But I'll just go over the silicone blobs. And if they start to appear as your paint dries, just come back in and do silicone, uh, do a silica, do your little water balloon. See where you've got some paint, just, if it doesn't quite look the right shape, like it doesn't there, it looks, you know, it's come out looking odd. What I do is I use my skewer, just not the sharp end, this end, to kind of do like little, and then it comes like as though it's a petal, petal. Just stops that round shape. So it just shape, it's just shaping, just shaping a little bit. So pull, pulling that in don't have to be you know some people say oh, I can't draw for toffee or geez, those are just little effects that are really simple just little tricks of the trade what I'm thinking of doing with this one is doing 
balloon embellishment only up the centre now and only will I put balloon on the outside if those silicone circles, silicone bobs turn up again. But that was my fault for not stir, stirring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the centre, either side and see how we go. So here goes. Just to get rid of that defined kind of blue bit. So it's, they're only on the diagonal. They might, by doing this while the paint's so wet, by the time it all finds its place on the canvas, they don't even look like, they, they don't even look like a balloon has touched it, look like. I can do rolls down the centre like that. Ooh, that looks pretty, hey? That looks really pretty. I like it. I like it. Oh good. Wow. Lily lacing is just phenomenal. That is really super, super duper. So, so I am going to, I am not going to do any more balloon embellishment. Just pressing my balloon out on a piece of paper. I will finish off the sides by doing some little balloon dips. But yeah, just get yourself, you just, all I did was I just put the nozzle over my tap and then run some water in and tie it off. Somebody, I know other people, you can try with a bigger balloon full of water, which I have done, and it burst uh, all over my work. So that was uh, unretrievable because it was too wet. But yeah, so it's a very handy little tool for sort of dabbing in areas that you want to change, you know, that you, that if, if you get a, a little silicon uh, area come up, because that's what they are, that's just silicone. I'll use some of the paint from there to there. And then balloon, balloon pop the sides of your canvas, so it's got these nice little balloon effects on the side of your canvas. Okay, I'm happy with that, that's, um, that's a different one again, so keep trying to keep it um, interesting, doing different, even though they might be using balloons and silicon paint, it's the way, it's the way that you use them, the way that you do it. That's pretty cool, I'm, gonna, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to walk away from the canvas, I will give you a close up. Um, Lots and lots of lacing in this one. Definitely not as bright in the camera as what it's looking on there. But I'm happy with that. It's just something a little different again. Um, yeah, it's all good guys. All good guys. I'll put some photos on at the end. I just wanna to say to you guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for fantastic encouraging comments and that so many people that um, you know are getting a lot out of the videos that they see that it's teaching them and they're enjoying the process and they're not feeling stressed because as I uh, emphasize it's not about perfection it, it isn't about perfection it's about doing what you choose it's your canvas and your piece of art until next time guys, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the notification button so it tells you when I uploaded a video and I'll put some photos on at the end of this, of the dried version. Thanks again, until next time, bye.